We got Eli Elias in the blue corner and Hamid Tawana in the red. This is going to be an explosive fight, so don't blink, my friends. Very yes, nice trips, work. Tawana. Inside trip a la Henry Suhudo by Eli Elias. He is working to pass the guard in order to secure the position. Tawana gets out. Elias relentless with the wrestling. Good defense from Tawana though. No hesitation when he throws his his right hand. Slip Elias slips, Elias. but hard punches from Tawana. Yep. Wild punches. Yeah. Well, Elias Grace. is getting graced by those punches. Yep. Guillotine attempt here from Tawana. Is this going to be it? I think it is. It's pretty tight. Elias is no slouch on the ground. He has several medals in ADCC competition, but he's got the leg trapped with that guillotine, which is causing a lot of issues. Now full mount. Here we go. Full mounted guillotine oh, here from nice Awe Tawana. And Elias is tough. That looked to be over. Did, but wow. he managed to get the a little bit of a breather, pulling his hands apart. I want to see some elbows by Elias. He needs to be a little bit heavier on his hips when mounting. Elias working from his back here. Very nice. I could have need him to the face. Then. Both fighters are still pushing the pace since the beginning of the round. Oh, oh, that Kimura looks uh, deep as well, but uh, it's very uncomfortable. But I'm not sure he. Uh, Elias is rolling with it. Yeah. Uncomfortable, but not impossible. Great defensive work here, and Tawana relentless with the submission offense. Elias is relentless with that pressure. 30 seconds left. All right, Elias got the back now. What a back and forth battle. Going for the rear naked choke here is Elias. 10 seconds. 
Doesn't look like he has the grip. No. Yeah, his arm is not deep enough to make the chin. Great first round by both fighters. Here we go, second round. High kick. Uh, Tawana's Tawana dangerous. Answers, yeah. uh, dangerous on the feet. So Elias is wise to take it to the ground, but Tawana has been dangerous with those uh, submission attempts, attempts as well. Nice pressure here from Elias, but uh, Tawana is engaging with the legs. Manages to evade the mount. Elias lands those leg kicks. Looking for a way to pass that. Pass the legs. And he does. Very nice. Yeah. All right. And once again, he goes to take the back. A lot of time to work here for Elias. Yeah. Listening to his corner. that body triangle and Tawana scoots his hip out but gets mounted yeah, going from full mount to full back mount is Ili Elias Tawana does a good job at defending that rear naked choke. And since Elias has got the body lock, he had a bit of a struggle getting out of that position. All right, there that looks go. yeah, that looks tight right now. Is Eli Elias going to get the finish here in the second round? He's got the body triangle. That yeah, he arm just is needs in to pretty squeeze deep. now. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. That's very tight. That one is very tough. Working for the rear naked choke. Elias might be tired. Yeah. Just need to crank and he can also, you know, flex his hips forward to get more pressure. Yeah, but Tawan is he's doing a good job at moving his body on that the, the leg so he's not able to maintain the position. Eli Elias is like a wet blanket over Hamid Tawana right now. We're seeing the same sequence, rinse and repeat. Yeah. All right, 30 seconds left in the second round. Pure domination from Eli Elias as soon as he got the fight to the ground. Yeah. 
starts out with a bang. He's dangerous every time they're oh, on yeah. their feet. Very fast hands. Yeah, fast hands, explosive, very, very aggressive. Yeah, tries to go for the takedown, but he lacked a bit of drive in that one. Again. Talana is pressuring now in this first yeah. minute, and uh, well, that, that's the strength he's got. Like whenever he's in, like he's got his back against the wall, it kind of fires him up. And now he's in for that guillotine again. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get it in the first round. Will he get it in the third? position very good in order to maintain his opponent on the ground and we might have a reversal Let's see how Tawana capitalizes Triangle. Ooh, the, that he needs the arm to cross his Face. Yeah. Putting a lot of pressure here, making it tough for Tawana to breathe. Yeah. And he is She's out! He, Great he, win by Eli Elias. Technical submission. That triangle was tight. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, Referee Madeleine Fogarin has stopped the fight at 2 minutes and 30 seconds of round number 3. To your winner, by a technical submission by way of triangle choke, Eli Elias! All right, I'm here with your winner, Eli Elias. What a fight, a back and forth brawl. How do you feel after what really was a war? I feel good, uh, composed, and uh, kind of get a kind of a, a drilling rush right now. And uh, respect to Hamid, man. He's he's a tough son of a bitch, man. He's hit he hit like a a fucking truck, man. He uh, I saw his fight against uh, Fabian Oops, or what's what his name is, and. Uh, I was like, man, this guy, you cannot finish him. You have to kill him. Like, he, he, he stands by his words. And uh, I, got a t I was, got so much respect against him. And uh, it's all love, man. I hope he's all right. I hope he's, he's, he's everything is all right with him. And I wish him well, the best. And uh, I hope we can skip all this trash, that trash talk between me and him. And... Uh, focus on uh, the future. Uh, he's very welcome to train with me whenever he wants and uh, my arms will always be open for him. What a guy inside the cage and in your heart as well, humble even in victory. But I gotta ask, 
I heard a rumor that you were at the hospital yesterday, and that's why you couldn't come to the press conference. Tell us what happened. Uh, after the weigh-ins, I had like 600, how do you say, gram in, uh, grams in grams <laughs> at the weight, and uh, I almost collapsed. My uh, friend, who's a doctor at Karolinski Institute, that was uh, at the parking lot. He was like, "Listen, <laughs> I can lose my job if I do this, but." Now I'm spoiling this. <laughs> and uh, he told me like, Jess, <laughs> uh, you saved me, I know, you saved me. Uh, and uh, after the weigh-ins, I did the medical checkup, everything went well. Then we went to Karlinska, I had a, what do you say, a New Year's stand. Kidney stone. Kidney stone. And they used some kind of laser shit. And he was like, when is the competition? I was like, uh, three weeks, three weeks. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's good. And that's why I couldn't, go and fall uh, on full gears tonight. I, this one hurt like fuck. I had problem to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I didn't drink so much water. I was like, I have to, and I don't have to go to the bathroom. That is all. And uh, I heard a lot of comments that he said at the press conference that was kind of not so good to talking about the International Women's Day. I, thought, I think that our judge who was in here she's a female she does every woman in this planet have to be respected without them we're not men without them we're not men 100 percent. yes that was the only thing he said wrong and it is totally unrespectful and uh, like i said we are not men if we, we do not respect the woman that's all i have to say what a guy, a champion at heart, a true role model, and we love seeing you every time. If this was you at 10%, we can't wait for 100. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. One more. I would like to thank all my sponsors, Monster Energy, Yamaha Factory Center, BMW Motorsport, Akrapovic, and uh, I'm pretty, I forgot everything. And I would like to thank my team, C team, C -team my coach, Altan Selix. He trained me like since I was 11, 12 years old. He beat me up like every day, every day. Now he, he beat me all the time right now too. And uh, everyone at STS Thai Boxing, Akke, Latifa, Linnea, Coach Jaff, <laughs> Peter Carlson. If I forget someone, sorry, my brain is not with me right now. I just want to eat my cheeseburger, that's all. You've earned it, buddy. Let's hear it for your winner.